So Fabio has a fantastic fashion store that's become very, very, very popular. Um, and he can raise the prices every single day. I would love to have a job like that. So um, basically he raises the price of his designer pants by $1 more than he raised it the previous day. So he's raising it incrementally. Um, and we know that the price on the first day was 700. If we can figure out what amount uh, he raised the price by um, on the first day, we'll just call it you know y. So if x is the um, starting price, which we do have is 700, and y is the first day price, um, then we can actually figure out uh, the price every single day because um, so you know day one will be x. Day two will be x plus y. Day three will be x plus y plus y plus one. Four will be x plus y plus y plus one plus y plus two, and and so on. And so you could, uh, for this problem, write this down for a full week's worth of things. Um, you can also figure out that the formula is going to be that initial price of seven hundred um, plus. Um, the day, whichever day it is past the first one, day minus one times y plus um, the uh, basically adding up all these additional little numbers here, sum of the days uh, from one to day minus two. So you can either do it as a formula or write down all the different um, numbers here. Um, either way, uh, statement one, if we know that the price on Thursday was $746, that gives us, you know, uh, let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it gives us day five, um, which would have been x plus y plus y plus one plus y plus two plus y plus three, um, which is... Uh, x plus 4y plus 6. Um, so, you know, we just add up all these different numbers here. Um, anyway, so uh, we would just plug in that, we'd figure out what y is, and then we could figure out what it is on that last day by plugging it into the formula for the seventh day. So statement one is sufficient, and we can cross off b, c, and e. Statement two tells us the difference between the price on Monday the 16th and Sunday the 22nd was $81. Again, we would use our two formulas. Um, again, we always know what, se what x is. That's always 700. Um, and we would just subtract the two equations. We would subtract the um, day two's price from the uh, day eight's price and then we know that that equals 81, and we would solve for y, and then plug it into our formula for the seventh day again. So um, the statement also is sufficient. Each statement alone is enough for us to figure out the price on Saturday the 21st. Answer choice D.